I enjoy a healthy meal. Yes, my outside's soft and slabby, but my inside's made of steel. We raise piggies in the backyard, then I eat them limb from limb. We won't leave our dachshund all alone with him. So this morning I was eating when such hunger did attack And fifty vodka bars were waiting for a nice mid-breakfast snack But the taste was kinda different, like a bronco three days old So I spit it out and saw I had struck gold Now I'm the perfect ticket winner for a chocolate I didn't tease, I am excited but keep eating Cause I only stop to breathe And a lifetime full of chocolates A gesundheit from above and tell me more That's Augustus Gloop's song from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, now in previews. We got a call from Warner Brothers. Um, eight years ago? Eight thousand years ago, yes. yes. And so we went and had lunch. Nixon was still in the White yes. House. But uh, yeah, so when they called, I mean, we had lunch with Sam Mendes, and, um, and he said, would you like to work on Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? And we said, yes, golden ticket, right here. Yeah. And so it's been a very um, unique experience. Not that we are, have a million experiences writing musicals, certainly <laughs> for Broadway. I mean, we've had a few, but, mm -hmm. but we've never worked on a show that has a second production that is so very different from, from the one, the previous one, yeah. which, because it ran in London for uh, four years in a theater that's the twice the size of any theater on Broadway. So I consider that eight years in Broadway years. <laughs> So, um, and it was an, and quite well loved there and very successful. So now to get to, so, but we never really had a chance to ever uh, sort of tinker once it started because it was so technically massive. And we spent a great deal of time just trying to get an elevator off the ground. So by the time this, the, the, the opportunity to do it on Broadway came, um, it, was, it was fun to revisit the material and go back and say, hey, what if we, could do, we wanted to do this, let's do that, we'll, we'll change this around. So that was, that was fun. And, and uh, also, because it's America, they wanted to uh, um, incorporate more of, of Leslie Brickus and Anthony Newley's songs. So that's been fun to try to marry the two, st the two styles together. Warner Brothers wanted to, the show to open on Broadway right after it finished in London. Yeah. And they were very intent on that, and we would have had to wait a whole long time for Sam and Peter, who liked, you know, just have so many things. And so the idea was floated by Sam, why don't you get someone from America who will actually help Americanize it, or, or, or make it even more perfect for an American audience. And Jack O'Brien was actually the perfect choice, because in, in a way, uh, uh, Jack says this, I'm stealing from him, but he'll say that, um, um, he's a lot like Willie in that he makes th uh, theater instead of chocolate. It's both you, it disappears after you've consumed it. We yeah. were able to like play uh, Jack and Josh Burgos, our new choreographer, songs that had been cut along the way because yeah. they just wanted to hear everything. And there was one song in particular that they really loved about how w Willie met the. Yeah, we, uh, we had written a whole kind of um, uh, Carmen, Busby, Miranda Carmen Miranda Busby number. Berkeley number. And then high in the trees, I heard foreign whoopies. And the source of the sound was were we're there on the ground, ground. barely up to my knee. They all said, we're, we're all free. free. And the sound of their bliss, it went something like this. Gesundheit. Thank you. Aloopa loopa loop. Oh my god, that was a long time coming. <laughs> so it's been fun to actually bring up some old material and then write new stuff and just have new people because when you've been working on something so long you really need that fresh infusion and 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 Jack and Josh really gave that to us so we wrote this new song if for the uh, elevator ride which is far too rangy for a Jewish man like me but <laughs> I will try to sing a little bit of it it's what uh, Willie is singing to Charlie Charlie he, uh, he's, he's and he wants him to get the big picture and we remember this great uh, Carl Sagan talked about the, the cosmos. Speck of blue. Yeah, he said the speck of blue is one. So I may not get to that point in the lyric, <laughs> but, we, but we were certainly inspired by Carl Sagan's speck of blue. The pale blue dot. The pale blue dot, that's yeah. right. So they, at the end of the show, they're in an elevator and it rises up and they go above the city and they look down at the factory. And, Char and Willie sings this on, on, in the ride. Um, all right, I'm, I'm 
transposing on sight, which I used to do very well as a child. When a boy like you looks to the sky at the stars and planets passing by, if the boy is like me, he'll want to fly into the stratosphere. And as we both rise into those skies, your future will appear. That's why I brought you to see the view from here When a boy has just a touch of odd and he walks the streets without a nod he should know that odd is a gift from God like this starry blue chandelier and the more he lives perspective gives him sight so crystal clear that's why I brought you to see the view from here I won't see We were working on Smash, and 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 we were writing these songs, and the and um, and Christian, Christian was always right over Christian there. Christian Borel was always like in a chair over there, and I and I and I we would say maybe Christian could do the demo of this. So it, initially, like Christian sang all the songs first, and so he would always say, "Oh my God, what a dream it would be to do to, this." To but do you this know, part, but they'll never cast me. Yeah. So I always thought of like Willie as kind of like the. Um, almost like a rock star in retirement. So to me, he was kind of like the the Ray Davies from the Kinks or David Bowie. You can Google and, that. Yeah. And, uh, so this is Willie outside the factory gates when he's first greeting everybody. Beyond this door's a factory begun from just a bean. Beyond this door, surprises in store, but it must be believed to be seen. Beyond this door's invention, where mind meets with machine. Beyond these gates, astonishment waits, but it must be believed to be seen. The magic spells, no potion, for swear legend. Domain. What's leisure domain? My kingdom's created from no shirts. That was me talking, knowing the audience is going, leisure domain, what is that? It's, it's all swirling around in my brain. I could keep going or I could stop now. Beyond this door's a banquet of one made cuisine. A lucky few will get to pass through, but it must be believed to be seen. I hurt myself. 